Morning, Nina Pants. Morning. We're going for a hike. A volcano. Volcano hike today. Yeah. yeah. Ready. We're gonna do a sub two hours. We were still in Bandanera, exploring our first stop on the Spice Islands, and Brady was still playing his princess card, not even willing to get his feet wet anymore. Poor Yashirama. Our friend Abba told us about a trail that goes up the side of Banda Api, with a sweet view of the surrounding islands, so we packed a lunch and started climbing. We were only a quarter of the way up and already had a pretty sweet view of Delos across the bay. Our legs were definitely feeling it after so many days at sea. How are you feeling, Brian? It's a good walk. <laughs> Sweaty one. Sweaty one. Karen took a break to watch an ant colony brutally dismantling a stick bug. How are you feeling, Yashirama? Did. Yeah. Too good. Almost there though. Struggling. Oh, look at this. Yeah. It's fucking cool. It's pretty cool. You can see the vegetation just changed though, like 50 meters down there. Yeah, it goes from like jungle to bush to shrubbery. Now it's just rock and fern, so. Even though the last eruption was in 1988, there's still smoking piles venting sulfur gases. There's no safety ropes and no guardrails. If you fall into the crater, it's pretty much your own fault. After lunch, we took a few minutes to just enjoy the view and watch the clouds roll by. Such a beautiful, peaceful, tranquil setting. When you gotta go, you gotta go. A few pounds lighter, Brady thought it would be a good idea to run down. So good, in fact, he talked Yosha and his shenanigans. I don't know what it is about my brother, but he always tears his shorts exactly in the same place. Myself, Karen, and Nina made it to the bottom in one piece. There was no sign of Brady and Yoshi yet, so we sat on the shore and enjoyed the afternoon prayer blaring from a mosque across the bay. We took the wrong trail. We, you know there's no dogs on the island? We found where they keep them all. Oh, really? 300 dogs up there in a cage. What happened to you? Look at your face. I was just saying, there was some, some sliding and some falling. 
how'd you guys take a wrong turn? You know how sometimes the trail was split like into two? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We just went up the wrong one, I guess. Well, I'm glad you guys made it safe. We were sliding. With our time in Bondanera coming to an end, we untied from the village key and shoved off. It had been an awesome week here, and we wanted to stay longer. But we were technically in a gray area regarding our status in the country, and needed to reach the larger city of Ambon to clear Delos and her crew formally into Indonesia. There wasn't a lick of breeze, so we motored into the Banda Sea in mere like sea conditions, leaving the volcano we just summited in our wake. It wasn't long before the girls spotted dolphins in the bow, and our new crew and translator for the trip, Abba, got his first taste of the cruising life. A rain squall blocked our sun, but brought a puff of breeze so we were quick to hoist the forward downwind sails. What are you two doing back there? Nothing? Smoking cigarettes? Indonesian style? Wet ass, mate. See, we're just speeding along here. There's Banda that we left uh, eight hours ago. We've come about two miles. Putting a line on our little friend. Abba one. Abba peace. Abba peace. Abba peace. We'll do good for us today. Brian is going to get in his air chair while we are sailing. Nine. Nine hours out of Banda now? Yeah. Oh, it's only nine hours. Yeah. Last, oh, nine last, hours. last video log was eight hours out. It's nine hours and we've gotten bored. <laughs> We're gonna have to swing this out. Brian's gonna jump from the bow and swim through it. And then have a good seat. I know what you're doing. Uh, it's a surprise. It's a special Let surprise. Go! go. Oh. Oh, Do you think we should turn the engine off so we don't, yeah. we're not going so fast? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The last thing we want to do is lose the air chair. Or well, Brian, do you mind explaining what you're doing over here? Oh, uh, well, I figure when I get out there, I'm probably going to get thirsty. So I'm trying to rig a beer delivery system. <laughs> Very smart. I think this idea is probably one of the best ideas we've had. How are you feeling? Um, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I think I can make the jump. I think I can make the swim. And then the rest. Uh, Neutral. Yeah. It may seem like I'm being a whip, yeah. but the thought of jumping off my boat into the middle of the ocean while sailing terrifies me.
You looked so scared just then. We got it! We got it! <laughs> He's about to feed a duck and dusky with homemade rum from the boat still to Ryan in the swing chair. <laughs> so Yosh, what was our perfect day? What was the perfect day? Whoa! You are We could feed you grapes off there too. <laughs> you have to catch them in your mouth. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Just be on arms reach. <laughs> we could tease it. There you go. We can <laughs> Ah, good. Oh yeah. Is it good? Cheers. Yes. It is midnight, August 15th. We're about halfway between uh, Banda and Ambon. No wind. We've been motoring since we left uh, for the last 60 miles, about 10 hours. But uh, calm conditions. Not much going on except for the creaking of the main. And it's pretty boring. When running at night near land, we always use our radar and AIS in combination with the GPS. It's not uncommon to encounter unlit boats in these waters, so it's just an extra precaution. Running the radar also allows us to perfectly align the chart offsets by overlaying radar data on top of the chart itself. Radar is always spot on when it comes to land. The early morning hours had us dodging moored fishing huts as we pulled into the bay. Surprisingly, they were in water over 600 feet deep. We found a nice, Shallow spot in front of the hotel reported to be cruiser friendly and dropped the hook. It was time to explore our first big Indonesian city. Up next, we buy some black market diesel and explore the crazy Ambon markets. Welcome to Bandanasari. <laughs> we are about to climb the volcano. <laughs> 